Here we are demonstrating a conventional strike with a traditional two-man ram technique. As you can see, with the hip wall directly behind both the operators, the door cannot be struck. They're going to go ahead and rotate, and using the JTC twin ram and that 45 degree angle, and placing that wedge into the door jam, forcing all the kinetic energy of the two persons through the seam of the door, defeating the multiple lock sets. Showing you the reverse angle of the seam, as you can see, there's no room on the backward swing to strike the door with any force. They're going to go ahead and rotate. As you can see now, with the twin ram, you can use that in any CQB hallway. Person in the front fortified doors. Go ahead and direct the strike, and the person in the rear would act as a fulcrum and added power to the strike. As you can see, the wedge slides right into that particular door jam, thus forcing all that energy right into the seam of the door. They're going to go ahead and demonstrate the swing and the strike. As you can see, the wedge goes directly into the seam, concentrating all the energy right into the lock set. JTC twin ram. The lower unit is placed onto a hard flat surface. The second unit is then placed inside the square receiver of the first. Notice you have to pull out the locking pin, which is being done. Drop in the top portion, reinsert the locking pin, and a couple twists. And the JTC twin ram is assembled. Notice the two users have their hands interlocked. The person striking, or the person closest to the object, is the person that will guide the strike. The secondary person acts as a fulcrum. The front and display of the JTC force. Twin Ram has Using numerous hand grip striking complete. built into it. As you can see here, Mike's going to go ahead and transition to the secondary grip, thus allowing the front grip to act as a hand guard. This would be used when striking hard or removable objects such as concrete or cinder block walls or in the case of something of an unknown where it may be a soft or hollow core, thus preventing injury to the end user's hand. You're now looking at the front angle of the JTC twin ram, the wedge side. This particular side of the JTC twin ram is designed to defeat the fortified doors, hotel doors, class three steel doors. The particular wedge is designed to take all the concentrated kinetic energy and drive that through the disassembly of the itself. JTC twin ram. Unscrew the center pin, pull it outward, Remove the upward piece, reinsert the pin in order to not lose it, lock it into place, and you now disassemble the JTC twin ram. Here we have Roger carrying the JTC twin ram in two separate pieces. As you can see, he's using the center handle and the farmer walk or luggage carrying. Each piece is approximately 30 pounds in weight, and here he has uh, 60 pounds of weight distributed evenly throughout his body and able to walk and move with ease. So here we have the wedge portion of the twin ram. This particular section is designed to be used also as a suitcase ram. So not only can you use the wedge to go ahead and defeat doors, but you can turn it around and then use the 4x4 four four solid filled striking surface on the reverse side. You can also use the square 4x4 four four section to set prize or other tools in your arsenal. Due to the versatility of the twin ram, it's essentially buying three rams into one. When it's assembled, it's a two-person striking ram designed to defeat fortified doors. When it's disassembled, there are two separate 30-pound pocket rams. Roger's going to go ahead and display how you can go ahead and use it to strike an upward target. Demonstrate well. the set of a claw with the reverse end of that 4x4 striking surface built into the wedge section of the twin ram. Suitcase ram, wedge, 4x4, solid filled section. Go.